Hey, what's up there all you space lovers? It's craziness of the internet. We're back again with another factional warfare video in EVE Online. Today we'll be discussing the Min Mintar Republic and what I would class as one of the more advanced factions in EVE Online as they do mid, close, and long range control fighting. But this does not mean that they are better than any other faction. They are just more secure for solo and small gang fleet combat. So because of this, to understand the Min Mintar Republic's brawl, mid, and long range tactics, we do have to break this into a two video series, as the Min Mintar Republic does rely on heavily based shield and armor style tactics, with speed and agility as their main factor for controlling the battlefield. Now we're going to take a look at the Min Mintar Republic's brawler and mid-range tackle ship, which is the Rifter. Now this thing also can be a turret-based artillery platform if you design it correctly, but remembering you guys that the Min Mintar Republic is one of the hyper-class factions that can be utilized for solo PvP and small gang PvP, but also is a powerhouse in its own right in fleet faction combat like all of the other factions, but the Min Mintar Republic is the second hyper class faction of all four of the races, meaning that they either want to be a shield based build or an armor based build. With that said right here you can see that we have the tackler version of an armor brawler for the rifter, and if we go ahead and look at the bonuses for the rifter ship you can see that we do at max skills get 35% rate of fire, and like I said earlier the Min Mintar race has one of the the best fall off returns out of all of the races in the game except for the Kaldari as they are just application to range versus explosion velocity so knowing things like that is crucial to understanding builds and what you should do in the moment of combat in PvP in EVE Online but that said you can see that over here on this ship we have two different style of weapons you guys now because we have an increased rate of fire bonus it might actually blow your mind but in the rifter if you use the smaller based weapons you will have sometimes a higher base damage output depending on what you did with your rig slots because having that bonus to your rate of fire plus using the weapon systems that fire the fastest will sometimes sadly mean that you will out damage pace some of the heavier weapon systems and what I mean by that is if you were to say info the auto cannons right here it's going to be incremental amounts so this one should be 3.3 s and then if we go here remember this is with really low basic skills so you can see that it's 0.75 so that 0.35 difference does add up because when you use full skills and things like that you can get it over the 1.0 bar which is very handy when it comes to brawling and things like that because you do sometimes in certain builds when you're fighting a certain opponent you want to be able to break their tank and in order to be able to break some of their tanks if they're an active style build then you want to be able to shoot faster than the repair module can fire so a good example I could give you guys to understand EVE Online is if you ever have some free time just go ahead and just start infoing modules and things like that and looking at their activation cost and their activation times and their duration and start memorizing aspects of the game and the modules and the weapon system so that you know as a player what to expect, what to do, timing, how to counter react, how to infiltrate a volley, how to catch a volley into a rep. So when your mind has to take all of this into account, this is what people call the good old EVE Online jitters when they get all adrenaline rushed and their hands start to shake and stuff like that it's just because of all the things that you have to take into account sometimes it becomes overwhelming but if you just relax and stay true to what your ship build is and what your goal at the time is everything will be okay even if you hear the old arr, 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 most of the time you should be all right so because we are a brawler style ship in this 
Rifter build, we need to have two style of weapons to reduce the CPU and power output of this ship because if you guys take a look right here, you can see that we are rolling a 400 millimeter roll tungsten plate. What that means is we have a destroyer sized armor plate on a frigate sized ship so that gives us even more defense than what they're used to and make sure that when you're almost about two thirds of your armor has been depleted that then you start using your small ancillary armor repairer. Do not use it right away because of this one aspect. In the cargo hold here you can see that we are using standard exile boosters and if you guys are new to EVE Online what these things do is you can find them in your local marketplaces. I suggest that you take a good moment in your game to sit down and read all of the style of boosters that you get. Even the ones that you get as gifts during your daily login campaigns because you can combine some of your boosters that you're going to inject into your character for the fight with some of your daily login campaign boosters because these are slot 5, 6, the other one should be slot 10. So if we look at the attributes right here on the standard exile booster, now why I want you guys to understand, do not use your small ancillary armor repper at the beginning of the combat or halfway through. Yes, you might be afraid of dying, but you have to just understand that in combat, you have to take bleed effects sometimes, and sometimes you have to take some structural hits if you're not structured tank so that you can get off what you need. Now, why I make this clear is because if you were to eat this booster, even if you had the highest skills possible for countering the side effects, because yes, there is a negative and positive outcomes for eating boosters in EVE Online, and this one right here will give you minus 20 percent to your armor hit point penalty which will pretty much nullify our roll tungsten plate if we were to eat our booster wanting to rep early in the fight then waiting until we've damaged ourselves and used up most of our armor hit points so that if we do eat the booster and get a negative effect it won't really affect us because there is no more hit points to drain then no matter what we're getting that 20 percent bonus to our armor rep then repping back up when needed so that we make sure that we get all percentages of any bonus that we can and any little edge on our opponent so if we go ahead you guys and just just quickly simulate this ship right here you can see that in EVE Online you want to make sure that you pick your fights correctly because the Rifter will outshine most ships in combat when it faces a Mar style vessels even a Kaldari based pilot that has maybe not reloaded possibly explosive damage maybe he has EM loaded at the beginning because the Rifter has huge EM resistances you could change the Trimark armor pump twos here if you guys wanted to to more defense in your resistances like explosive and things like that to your armor hold now why i simulate this build so that you guys can see this is make sure you guys in your local marketplace to always remember to pay attention to what's happening in the market because you can see down in the bottom right how it says 36.9 million that's ridiculous it's because of these overpriced trimark armor pump twos now don't get me wrong these things have been overpriced for many years but if you just go ahead and reduce these off right here and I take this to variations and I put ones on you can now see that it's only 17 million because somebody has those rated at like 10 12 million isk per one in the Min Mantara area so it is overpriced over here at this exact time so you have to take in things like that into account when building your style of ship knowing all that will make you a powerhouse when using the rifter because of your great fall off bonus and you're also increasing it by another 50% with the rifter bonuses per ship skill level on top of your actual fall off bonus. Never forgetting you guys that the Min Mantar Republic is one of the best maneuverability factions as they want to utilize speed more than anything. So they utilize speed with signature and web control and things like Kaldari wants to use dual web application so that they can acquire better application for their rockets and missiles and things like that where a 
VAR wants to increase tracking and so that they can get critical hits through your shield and burn structure because Amar based laser weapon systems wreck structure so they completely counter react like structure based builds for the Galente system. And this is why they balanced it out by having the Kaldari fight the Galente and the Amar fight the Minmatar and also for lore aspects in the game but in the end we can all fly any ship and in the end it is basically just rock paper scissors but you still have that ability to choose some of the outcomes and some of the things that will happen when you engage in the fights in EVE Online. So having that destroyer sized armor plate on the frigate sized ship we did increase that buffer with our ancillary armor repper and we do have to use an ancillary current router if you are max skilled I do believe that you will not have to use it but some players until that time will have to acquire an ancillary current router in their rig slot so that they will be able to acquire the 400 millimeter rogue tungsten plate and remember you guys do not forget your boosters because combining the hard shell 2 and the exile booster is another 25 percent on your armor repairability so i hope you guys do get out there and use the armor brawling rifter and get yourself some good old tackles and 1v1s and remember you guys that you do always want to play especially in factional warfare zones with other players because you will understand that if you engage in 1v1 it is probably a highly elite player or it is somebody that is extremely new and he's about to die super fast because most of the time it's small gangs and blobs so it is what it is that's just how this area of the game sometimes goes but it is possible to play solo and reminding yourself that speed is one of the king factors in EVE Online which makes the Min Min Dark Republic one of the powerhouse factions for their maneuverability and remembering that all of these builds are also alpha and omega friendly so right here on the screen we will always have the newer style builds for the newer based players and remember as you go along you guys to upgrade as you can so with that said let's get into the next build here all right you guys so the next build we're going to take a look at here is the positioned artillery rifter so remember in factional warfare we use usually are engaging either at locations of plex sites or at the gates of a plex site or at a jump gate or at a hub bash or a system will bash for the system so understanding that this is positional artillery meaning that you should be positioned before your opponent this is not an aggressive ship meaning that you should not be aggressing your opponent unless you have good understanding of kite and maneuverability but with that said this ship right here should be inside the plex setup before your opponent arrives so that you're able to just lock him up and dish out the damage remember that the min Minmentar Republic when it comes to positioned artillery as they are a projectile based faction that it is best to be positioned directly pointing at your opponent with the ship meaning like if I was going to shoot my opponent I would point the rifter like this making sure that he is directly in front of me or if he's chasing me that he is either directly behind me the projectile weapons of the smaller base turrets that aren't artillery will track better at side view like this and and it's under view like this so understanding that that is why the speed is king in EVE Online and gives the Minmentar Republic some of the highest maneuverability class ships in the game when they start getting into the bigger class ships is pretty fun so when you understand things like that and understand that when your opponent would come into the site if we simulate the ship right here we use ammunition stuff like Republic Fleet Nuclear you can see that we are ranging up to 35 kilometers we use some of the more powerful ammunition like hail and things like that when we use some of the tremor ammo right here we are 37 kilometers which is further than our actual lock range inside the rifter so if we use the other one at 17 kilometers which means that we should go down here and utilize some of our faction based ammunition as you guys can see right here I use the Republic fleet phased plasma and that allowed me to get 21 kilometers which is just 
just under my targeting range so I would make sure that I'm sitting with certain ammunition that will give me the best possible outcome for the range control that I want and you guys can see that we do have a long point which overheated at the exact range of 21 to the base of the entry point of the plex and making sure that we are aligned out to our safe spot because overheated we do go 4200 meters a second and our goal here is to make sure that any afterburner style ship that tries to tackle us or come near us we nullify them with our overheated stasis webifier if you guys can as you go along to tech to that out depending on your skills it's almost impossible for a brawler to get on you now understand that your weaknesses at that moment would be long range weapons and drones because they could volley you with the drones but that is when you start using your maneuverability and you start utilizing your overheated speed with the rifter and the minmentar republic but also you guys understand that when it comes to artillery based weapons in the hands of a minmentar pilot that they do sometimes need a little boost when it comes to tracking and we are just trying to track and volley these guys out as fast as possible because if you had two rifters like if you had the rifter that i showed you guys before in the hands of one of your friends and then you had this one outside of his range so your friend is mid to close range and now you're mid to long range anybody comes in they're pretty much deleted there's nothing that they could really do if they're a solo pilot so remembering things like that is what makes eve online as a social sandbox pvp game more powerful to play with friends because you guys always remember as i would say more than most that the best ship is always friendship this is also a kiting version of one of the minmentar republic style ships so you guys can see over here that it says that it is not stable but remember what i taught you earlier so we just turn this module off right here so as long as you do not have one of the modules activated you can see that your ship is completely stable and ready to lay down some heavy firepower on your enemy target so being able to understand this ship build in the hands of a new EVE Online player or an old player getting into PvP with the lower base skill builds that you can always see on the left here. It's good to note that this ship build is nothing more than just pure damage output and to make sure that you are aware of your exit points as you must get your volleys off and if you can't control the field with your agility and your maneuverability then you need to warp out of there and just get out as fast as possible even if your friends are going down so seeing how being a hyper class faction in eve online with the minmentar race here you can see how it can utilize many aspects and many different versions of builds but also taking into account that in my personal perspective to always maintain the ability to have that agility and speed in the minmentar hands you always want to be able to have one webifier or two no matter what because it just gives full control to the minmentar pilot if he understands what he or she should do in that moment of combat so with that said let's get into the final build for the rifter here okay you guys so we have right here the full tank version for the tackler of the rifter now you guys remember the downfall of this one is sadly we do not have a web so we cannot utilize the agility and the ability of the minmentar's race for speed in this moment or in this build because also also, we do have the 400 millimeter rogue tungsten plate on this one as well because we are going for heavy defense and we just want to be able to lock any target down for our friends and take the damage that they want to apply we want to get them to specifically apply it to us or we want to outpace any of our opponents in a 1v1 fight in EVE Online with this build so knowing that it is best against any other pilot or any other bigger class ship whether that's that's a cruiser and you have to make sure that you mitigate their micro warp drive engine that's why here we have the warp scrambler too and you guys can see that we are also utilizing the rifters rate of fire bonus from its ship to add to our light auto cannon twos as the light auto cannon 150s do shoot faster than the 200s but we also have to use the 200s because we are using 
way more power than what should be needed for this ship so that we can get the 400 millimeter roll tungsten plate on there so because of that in our rig slot here you can see that we had to add an ancillary current router too and on top of that we do have two trimark armor pumps now remember that depending on where you are you guys those are pretty expensive so make those t1s if you want to or to change that around to what you need we also have dual repped this ship so you can see that we have a small armor repper too here and we have a small ancillary armor repper it is really strong and has a lot of hit points when you need it and it can come in handy and help you and your small gang brethren get the tackles that it needs and to win some of its solid little fights there's not much else to say when it comes to the tank brawler except for you make sure that you lock your opponent's micro warp drive engines down if you can and tank the dps and make sure that you as a pilot are trying to take aggro for your friends as most of the time you will have more tank than them so i hope you guys do enjoy these rifter builds and do get out there yourself and try some factional warfare and low sec pvp as in eve online you guys it is best to always keep progressing in the game because there is so much to do that if you keep doing the same thing over and over again you will in the end burn yourself out so it's good to get out there and explore and try new things and if you're new to pvp well then that's something that gonna get you excited and help you achieve better understandings in eve online for the long term to come so let's get into the minmentar republic's final ship and ship build and here it is right here and that is the slasher you guys sadly over the years people have forgotten about the slasher's ability in factional warfare and it has turned into a null sec tackler because it does have high maneuverability and incredible speed but do not forget that when you look at its actual traits you see over on the left here that it has a bonus to turret tracking speed and it has a bonus to damage making it a perfect vessel for the platform of artillery which it should be designed for as you will get an increased bonus of 35 percent to the artillery's tracking speed and for the artillery to have its powerhouse ability it does acquire ability to track giving it tracking speed bonus on top of giving it tracking enhancers means most most of the time you're gonna get a critical hit now you have to understand that artillery why it's such a slow cycle time and bash is so hard is it is meant to take huge chunks out of the armor so if you get hit with it into the armor it does nullify some of the plate's defenses meaning it gives the minmentar republic a higher chance to get a critical hit against armor class ships and it just annihilates structure tanked it does have a reduced impact on shield but it still wrecks just as hard as any other weapon system and now that you guys understand that abilities about the slasher and how it should be utilized because yes over the years it has become a utility based tackle ship because of its ability to use multiple tackles at a time and for how small its signature radius and how fast it is but if you look at the build right here this is how this ship should be used for factional warfare and the minmentar republic and remember that this ship you guys is really fast but you have to play it with a friend because it is strong on its own, but using two of them together will allow you to understand that the artillery based ships when it comes to support is best when you support one another, not support the values of a PvP solo pilot in 1v1s. Yes, there is very powerful faction based and pirate based artillery platform ships, but what you have right here, if I simulate this ship and you guys can see, is that you have the micro warp drive engine and it is stable just like all of the other other long range ships but you have two web of fires not just one so you can fully utilize any aspects of your opponents coming in and you should be able to wreck them with your artillery shots we also in our rig slots added the auxiliary thruster too that is going to allow us to have extra speed on our micro warp drive engine so look if i overheat it so you guys can see that we go 5400 miles a second which is incredibly fast and if you want even more speed then you can go ahead and take one of the tracking enhancers off and put an overdrive injector to there which will bring you over the 6,000 mark so basically nothing can catch you guys and if you understand how it is to kite and slowly teach yourself this then being a stable class ship with the ability to go that fast is exactly what a newer player and an older style player getting into pvp would want and need and understand that this ship is a support based ship 
You can wreck people solo with it, but you should mainly be helping your friends and doing things like that. So I hope you guys do understand that the Minmentar Republic is one of the powerhouses, but because they were outrun and outnumbered always, they do utilize best in small groups and small gangs. All right, guys, I hope you did find these videos informational. Please do like and subscribe, and at 500 subscribers, we will be doing our first live PvP stream. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.